I've had breast cancer twice. I have congestive heart failure. I have three small children. I worry every single day that breast cancer is going to take me away from my children. Well, I met the Burgess girls two years ago. A girlfriend of mine had contacted me and stated that there was a family that lived in Weymouth. Their mom had just passed away. There was a 25-year-old, and um, she was being the, the new mom to her younger sisters, who were very young at the time. They were 9 and um, 13 at the time. Sorry. And um, she said that there... They need help, they need love, they need nurturing, they need somebody. So I went and I met the oldest sister, Christine, and um, you, just, you just fall in love the second you see them. And their mom had literally just passed away two months prior and you could see the pain in their eyes. Um, and you didn't know where they were going or how they were gonna move forward with their lives and because it was so fresh and so raw. I knew their need was way above and beyond. They, they needed their mom and they didn't have that. Um, so I went and met the family and um, my son and their youngest sister Zoe, instant best friends. So that was a win-win right there. And um, I just realized that they just, they just needed a mother figure in their life. So I um, helped them get a little organized, show them nutritional ways to eat. We went to Whole Foods on a shopping spree. And it's just been ongoing for the past two, over two years now. What surprised me the most about them was, was how they took to my love. They, they were desperate for somebody, something. And I didn't think, like here I was a straight, a complete and total stranger coming into their lives saying, all right, have you done the laundry this week? Who's on the chore chart? You know, how are you, how much homework do you have? Come on, Zoe, we're gonna do some reading tonight. You haven't done enough reading. And they loved it. They absolutely loved it. And they were receptive to it. They were like sponges to my love and my, my whole family, my husband and my three children, we all, they're like our second family. And the way that they, um, welcomed us to allow us to help them was the most surprising thing and it just really proved how much they needed it and it was such a good feeling. Why am I here? Why did I survive this? And a very good friend of mine last year just didn't. She didn't and she was a mother. She loved her kids just as much as I love my kid but why am I here? So I think that um, the reason why I keep doing it and I will always and forever do it is because it kind of gives justice to the people that didn't survive and that aren't here and aren't able to do it. So, and, and this is my purpose and, and I'll, I'll never stop ever because it's, it's what gets me through every single day. I love you. This is so hard. <laughs>